Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And welcome to the third and final part of my camera mounting films. Before we get started on the RAM mount accessories that you can buy for GoPro and other cameras, um, I did mention in part one that um, you can quite easily lose the GoPro handlebar stroke mirror stalk mounting points because they're made of plastic and they shear. And indeed this did happen to me about four days before recording this and I nearly lost a camera on the A34. I saw it hanging loose so uh, pulled in with one hand holding the uh, camera in place and uh, chucked it in a pannier and uh, made on the way again. Luckily saved the camera, I'd never be able to get it back off the A34 dual carriageway. So without further ado let's have a look at RAM mounts and their one inch balls. Here we have a collection of RAM mount parts. As usual, I've bought all of these, apart from the ones I was given, but I was given these by a mate, not by uh, RAM looking for any uh, publicity for their products. Starting from the left, we have three camera mounts. There's a reason why there's three shown on there. In the middle, we have three different arms, a short, medium and an articulating arm. Um, I'll go into this in a bit. And on the right, starting at the top, we have a clamp ball mount, uh, an adder ball, a handlebar ball, and a sat-nav ball. Uh, the reason I've shown this as well is because if you've got a TomTom -tom or a GoPro, you're probably going to already be familiar with RAM mounts. Indeed, the short arm did come off one of my sat-navs. The sat-nav mounting here is one that I bought. The ones I was given by my mate Fred were the top right-hand side, the clamp, the middle middle, the uh, medium length arm, and the bottom left hand side, which is a, uh, a ball which I uh, have had problems. In particular, my ball skin, as mentioned in the last film in this series. Uh, we'll come on to that in a moment because I don't think my ball is genuine. And here you can see an example of one of the RAM mounts on my 900 Hornet mounted on the mirror fixing points and on my 900 Tracer mounted using a clamp fixing. If you don't have a sat nav that uses a RAM mount system it's quite easy as I'll demonstrate here with the adjustable clamp, GoPro mounting ball and one of the joining arms. Simply put the balls facing each other, joining arm in the middle, shove the balls in the arm, nip the arm clamp up and there you go. One mounting system complete. The adder ball system is both unique and a very good idea. Is undo one of the clamping bolts on the arm like so, keeping the large plastic washer, the small metal washer and the wing nut. Dismantle the arm and remove the centre bolt that the wing nut goes on. Don't chuck it away, you might need it later. Then you get your uh, adder ball, you'll see here there's a hex on it and that replaces the existing bolt you've just taken out, like so. Then, as the Haynes manuals would say, assembly is the reverse of disassembly, and there you go. You've got an extra ball that uh, goes on the arm that connects to your other balls. And uh, again, it's simply a case of add an arm uh, with a, a ball-mounted camera mount, whatever you need to mount on the other end, and bish bash bosh, there you go, an extra mounting point. When it comes to the clamp, it's very adjustable. You can see here, when I've loosened it up nicely, I can easily slip two fingers in. You can't undo the clamp all the way, but when you've tightened it up fully, I can barely slip a finger in there. It's really quite tight, so it shows up a lot of adjustment. Now, despite all the adjustment you get on RAM mounts, it might be a case of you need a different angle between your balls to let them swing freely. One end on the mounting point and one end on the camera. If you can't do this by just adjusting a standard arm, the articulating arm does the job a treat. All you have to do is undo one bolt, put it onto the mounting point. In this case, it's on a mirror mounting point that I showed earlier. And uh, then insert your second ball into the other end to hold your camera. And uh, the arm will clamp it nice and tight and it's really adjustable. Really nice little idea. Now, I did mention about my uh, ball not being quite right for a GoPro, the one that I was given by Fred. And as you can see, I can pull my ball skin off. It made my eyes water a little bit, but this doesn't look right. Another thing to look at is what's on the side of the ball itself. In this case, it's for mounting a hero 
type camera and you can see that the RAM mount has actually got some little embossing on it saying it's a RAM, it's a Go P something and it's patent pending or patented. I did drop a little bit of white paint in here from uh, one of my many paints for when I do motorbike models and uh, the other one on the right hand side in this picture where I've taken the ball skin off doesn't have this. Not only that, if you look at the thickness of the three prongs where the screw goes through to mount the camera, the ones on the right are very definitely thinner, making me think that this is not an early prototype or Mark I, but actually a knockoff, because all my other RAM mount parts have got clearly written on RAM. What we're looking at here is a comparison between the RAM mount with a mirror stalk mounting piece on it and a camera piece at the other end and some of the other ones that we've already covered in parts one and two of this. So we have the genuine GoPro item. This is a sticky item without the sticky pad attached. A clamp GoPro item. This is the one that broke so hence it's uh, only shown with one screw in it. And the red one is the HSU barrel type. Um, semi-adjustable it's got 12 positions you can adjust it to with a couple of arms that I used when I had it on the Himalayan and also and finally we have the Kaiser Bass metal version of the GoPro clamp which I've installed on my Hornet mirror stalk to replace the GoPro one that actually snapped. The only other thing I found a bit strange on the RAM mounts is if we look at this uh, ball mount for a GoPro camera, you'll see it's got a nylock nut in it. Now engineers out there will say nylock nut, you use it once then you throw it away and put another one on. They're very good for locking but not very good for being reused. So what I did, I screwed in one of the camera locking screws about halfway, gave it a quick tap, tap on the table out came the nylock, then I did the same thing on a GoPro mount to get the dome nut off and uh, it fits quite nicely and is very snug in the van mount so there is that option if you need it because when I'm filming, especially longer rides, I might be swapping cameras out, it's uh, easier than swapping batteries to be honest, especially if it's raining, I'll normally have a few housed cameras with me so just swap them out. Nylock nut, it will hold it but it's not ideal so look at replacing it with one of the dome nuts from an existing GoPro system you might have. And this is what the mounts look like on the bike. This is the rear of my Himalayan with a GoPro on it via the articulating mount, the clamp and one of the ball mounts. At the front end we have the mirror stalk adapter, the short arm and again a ball mount for a GoPro camera. Well I hope you found this series of films useful and possibly enjoyable. There's been a lot of ball gags in this film and there's a good reason for that. A few years ago when Deadpool came out, they also made a series of films about checking yourself for cancer. For men under 35, testicular cancer is qu uh, quite a worry. It's one of the most common cancers in men of that age and if untreated it can kill you. For women, the problem is breast cancer. So I've linked to a couple of the films that the Deadpool team produced. Have a look at these. I had a cancer scare some years ago. Turned out to be a false alarm. If you do find anything, it probably will be in your case as well. But in case it isn't, make sure you catch it early. So get your fingers on your fun bits, have a good fumble around, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and safe riding.